Hey guys, today I am going to be doing a requested video which is talking about my fitness routine. So I just want to start by saying like I am not perfect and I'm going to give you all the things that I do or that I try to do but it doesn't mean that I can do them every single day but I do try to. And we're going to be taking you through like what a perfect week of training would look like. I have something to do Monday through Sunday. I don't have like a full rest day. Um, I have more of like an active rest day and I'll get to that. So the main thing that I do is CrossFit and I think most people's idea about CrossFit is that it's, you know, really hard and it hurts really bad and the people that do it won't shut up about it and that is totally true. So, so I try to get into CrossFit class. Uh, I sign up for every day of the week. I sign up Monday through Friday. And I will usually go three or four times three at the absolute minimum. And the only times that I can't go are if something comes up. Like yesterday I couldn't go because I was babysitting and tomorrow I'm probably not going to be able to go because I'm going to be at Bush Gardens. So CrossFit, like as a sport, training methodology, is very important to me and I want to get better and better and better at it. So I supplement CrossFit with other things to make my CrossFit better, if that makes any sense. So, uh, six days a week I also do hypertrophy, but I treat it like an EMOM, and if you know what an EMOM is, uh, it means every minute on the minute. So I have my set exercises that I do, and I will get one exer or one set done within this minute, and whatever left of that minute is my rest, and then I continue on the next minute on and on and on until it's done, keeping my rest very short. It helps me keep the workout itself short too because I've got other things to do, can't work out all day. Like Monday will be push, Tuesday will be pull, Wednesday will be legs, start that over again and I don't do it on Sunday. And basically I am doing, really, I am doing dumbbell workouts because it forces unilateral training and in CrossFit we do a lot with barbells. And I just want to make sure that I'm keeping my body as symmetrical as I can, strength-wise. Today, for example, today is Wednesday, so I did legs. And I'm getting this workout from... Currently, I'm on MuscleAndStrength.com. I'm looking at the six-day dumbbell workout split. I do, occasionally, I'll go on Bodybuild.com or MuscleAndStrength.com to get some workouts. I used to, like, program my own, but I wasn't really getting the results that I wanted necessarily, so I thought, you know, I might just put it in someone else's hands for once, and it's going pretty well. Dumbbell squat, dumbbell stiff leg deadlift, dumbbell goblet squat, dumbbell hip thrust, dumbbell calf raise. Each of these are four sets each, and then, uh, everything but the calf raise is 8 to 12 reps, and then the calf raise is 15 to 20, so... I did that this morning as an EMOM, and then after that, or I should say I warm up, usually with about three minutes of jump rope, I'm getting pretty fast with single unders, trying to work out double unders, can't like get my head around it, but I'm trying, <laughs> and then I might do some like dynamic uh, warm up things, kind of like some football style drills, like high knees and karaoke, just a little bit of stretching depending on what body part I'm working, like if I'm doing something with front rack position, of course I'm going to want to stretch out my elbows and shoulders and lats. If I'm doing like squats, I'm going to want to really stretch out my hip flexors to get good depth. So that's what I did today. I stretched out my legs and hips. And then I did all these exercises as an EMOM, and then I did a cardio EMOM. 15 minutes, uh, max effort, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off of running bike and uh, rowing machine. And that's it for the morning and then in the evening I go at the sit for the 6.30 class uh, pretty much every night. We do a, a longer warm-up. That's kind of what I described earlier. Sometimes jump rope, something dynamic, stretching out whatever body part we're working. And then we'll do something strength related. So you might work on an Olympic lift or a powerlifting movement like, let's say, deadlift. I think we're doing deadlifts today, actually. Um, so we'll work on our deadlifts. Uh, we usually are either maybe finding a max for something, or we will keep up and 
I don't know, 70, 80% for like longer reps and really burns, or we will be working on perfecting the movement itself, getting it fast and getting it strong by using bands. And then we'll do some gymnastics, and gymnastics for CrossFit is kind of just a fancy term for bodyweight movements, uh, like toe to bar, handstand walks, something. I think we're doing handstand walks today. We'll, we'll just be practicing getting up and do a handstand, maybe how long we can hold it for, if we're up to the level where we can walk or we can shoulder tap, we'll do that. And then uh, we usually do one or two Metcons, so metabolic conditioning. So these are the workouts that are very typical CrossFit or what people think of when they think of CrossFit. They might be EMOMs, they might be AMRAPs, AMRAPs are as many reps as possible, or for time maybe, so it's like a workout that you're trying to complete as fast as like humanly possible. It might be some, and it's generally like a combination of something cardio, maybe it's a little bit of gymnastics, a little bit of strength. Um, like you might run, you might come back in and do toe to bar, and then you might go out, go over and do some clean and jerks, and then you repeat that over again as fast as you can. Um, really, that's pretty much how one of our classes would go. And then I come home, and I'm gonna like include this. I walk my dog, so it's like a half an hour. It's like a mile around our neighborhood. And I've read for years that walking is really good for weight loss. If that's something that you are interested in, like in fat loss, because you're getting similar benefits as you do to like running and stuff, but you're not creating that same stress hormone that might cause you to gain or like retain weight. And yeah, that's a typical day. That would be Monday through Friday. And then on Saturday, I just do that workout in the morning. Uh, just these, well, I would say shorter one, but it's only shorter by like 15 minutes uh, or maybe less. <laughs> So I just do that shorter hypertrophy workout. And then on Sunday, I do yoga. I try to pick a, I just, I pick one off YouTube. And I try to get one that's about an hour long and focuses a lot on flexibility. Uh, I find that the more work I do with hypertrophy, the more work I do with CrossFit, uh, the stronger that I can get, the more weight that I can move. <clears throat> the less flexible that I am. So I don't want to lose that flexibility, especially because, you know, I was almost at a point where I could do a split and I totally neglected my daily stretches and yoga and things for like mm, two or three months. And now I just, my hamstrings are rock hard. They do not stretch at all. I can barely touch my toes. This is what I do every week, and I hope you guys enjoy. And leave any questions down below if you have any. I'll try my best to answer them, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hey guys, thank you so much for making it to this point in the video. I hope you enjoyed. Please check out the links in the description and support my Patreon if you can. And of course, like and subscribe. New videos every Tuesday, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!